Hey everyone, hope you are doing fantastic big news for us Sony A7 IV users. The firmware update version 5 is here and in this video I am going to show you what's new and guide you step by step on how to update your camera safely. So let's go and start. So as you see the benefits and improvements which we get with the firmware version 5 are the support for right digital signature. It fixes an issue with drifting the audio and video when you switch the recording frame rate immediately. I didn't have this issue but they fixed it and they fixed an issue related to the cursor movements between multiple identical items in the function menu and there was also a bug with the movie button in a still image shooting mode uh, which caused some buttons to stop working I didn't have this problem but it is welcome that they have fixed it and we get overall improvement with the operational stability of the camera which is always welcome now let me show you how you can download this firmware update and then we will proceed to the update process before starting i should thank the sponsor of this video audio.com which helps content creators like me to find their desired music really fast they have a huge music catalog and sound effects library with lots of talented artists with the filter controls you can search for music by mood genre element energy to find exact what you need. You can get your first year of Audio Pro with 70% off using my coupon code SAVE70. The link is in the description. Do not forget to check this amazing offer by audio.com. So in order to download the firmware for the Sony a7 IV, you can easily search on Google and proceed to the first link which is the Sony's official website and here you will see the firmware version 5. Now you can press the download key and accept the agreement. Now you will be redirected to a new page which you can download the firmware without even having an account. I truly recommend you to use a high quality memory card, a fast one and also a good quality memory reader so you do not get a corrupted file and you just copy the downloaded firmware in the root of the memory. If you have an older version there please remove it first and then copy the newer version to the root of the folder so you are ready to update your camera and please do not forget to properly charge your battery and use the original battery. Now we proceed to the firmware update. So in order to do the update we just go to the menu and the last option of the menu which is a toolbox and here we are on the setup of the camera and then we go to the setup option and we go down and we select the version we see the body and the lens i am on version 4 and here's an important note if you are coming from version 1.01 1 .01, please first update to the version 1.05 and then you can proceed to the version 5. This is an important note mentioned by Sony which a lot of people do not pay attention and they get a bricked camera which is really important to take note. It takes around 4 or 5 minutes and the camera will start blinking red while doing the update and here as you see I have fast forwarded the update process and the body update is completed. You can go to the menu and version and here you will check and see that we are on the version 5. And here as you see I did a boot up test and the camera boots up really fast and the menus are really snappy and I am really pleased with this update. So that was it for today guys. If you have any questions please feel free to ask them in the comment sections. I would be glad to hear your opinions and thoughts about this new firmware update and if you have any questions we can discuss that in the comment sections and I will be seeing you in my future videos. Goodbye.